Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defob21, back again at Batman Arkham Knight. This is again the PC version, I'm just letting it run at the only frame rate, effectively it's allowed 30 frames a second. I've turned on uh, enhanced light chats, but I haven't touched the other things. I might do a bit of experimentation later on, off screen as it were, on the running the game with the other settings set to... Uh, Set on, set to on, and the Nvidia game works. See what it looks like. But right now, just settings all look like this. Um, so again, it's playing fine. It's not as graphically as impressive as it could be, but it's playing for the most part fine. And hopefully, we'll start seeing some patches. Uh, I assume over the next few days or weeks, uh, that will improve things. I mean, my main concern. I mean, they're rock steady apparently. I mean, two things have happened since the last video, or since the previous video uh, was recorded, which is that uh, WB Warner Brothers has stopped selling um, the PC version of the game. Uh, there have been reports in the UK that the main, uh, one of the main dedicated video games retailers uh, game has uh, pulled the PC version of the game off its shelves. I don't know if that's happening elsewhere, but it's happening in game in the UK, and I believe the game is no longer available on for sale on Steam. I believe. Um, my hope would be that apparently Rocksteady says they've got some of their best engineers working. Uh, well, probably not round the clock, but uh, working if they can. Uh, maximum level humanly possible to get things fixed because this is I mean otherwise I mean from what I've heard the PS4 version of the game is an absolute tour de force and it's gotten you know the PS4 version which is where apparently all the reviews are based on the PS4 version have been very very positive and this is turning out to be something of a, a debacle for them that's damaging both Rocksteady's reputation although it was a third party developer that's doing this the PC port of the game that's certainly damaging Warner Brothers reputation as well um, so far for me again the settings you're seeing here it's running for the most part fine there have been one or two drops off in frame rate but they have been you know they're not it's 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 less than intermittent it's only happened one or two occasions um, Hopefully, as I said, we'll start seeing more patches and my program, patches to, to fix the issues. And for me, the main priority would be to not necessarily to unlock, you know, high texture resolution or ultra level quality settings, uh, but would just be to first and foremost get the game running as resource efficiently as possible at 30 frames a second. Get it as you know before they start ramping up and getting access, providing access to the more advanced settings. But um, that's my perspective on it anyway. So this is, I believe this is the sixth video um, I've recorded uh, of this game. This is the sixth video we've recorded, we've recorded this game. So I think I'm going to go deal with the Joker and rescue Catwoman. Just for the hell of it. Right. Selena's still trapped at the orphanage. Together, we'll get her out. Oh, I have to go to deal with this first. Great. those drones. Again, you got these police helicopters wandering around, sure they'll be shot down.
I don't get it. You want to break the bet? The forget Scarecrow, Two-Face, Penguin, and the rest of those punks. Nigma's the man with the plan. The riddle guy? Nah, I'm not buying it. Trust me, this guy's IQ is through the roof. You want to catch the Dark Knight? You need to be smart. Interrogations. Riddler has Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I should just tied her up and I left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought it here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. Okay, so you beat up those guys to get access to trophy information on the map. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Break a one object. Well, that's uh, nice to know. I can't believe those helicopters would be allowed to fly around unmolested. It's a bit uh, ridiculous. And surely denying the cops that situational awareness alone would be uh, worth a bit, little bit of ammunition. deal with that, getting these puzzle things later. <sighs> go rescue the damsel in distress. I thought I was going to go rescue a woman. Um... Okay, it's part of the main quest for some strange reason. Well, this is a trap. If ever I did see one. Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark knight? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? Switch character, eh? Here you 
go. Ooh, that was fancy looking. That is very fancy. challenge you complete, Please. you'll get one little key. One Collect every key and the kitty goes free. free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> but don't despair, Dark Knight. You, you did one challenge already. So let's see how long it takes for you to turn a running start into a stumble and fall. Take that rocket-fueled roadster and head on over to Chinatown, Detective. Your second test is waiting. Mm. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. Riddle me this. When does a door lead nowhere at all? When you, when you try to open it too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Okay. Right, I have one more waiting point. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Okay. Well, there doesn't appear to be a a time thing ticking down or anything. So, for all I know, I can go through here without rescue a woman without actually endangering Catwoman. So. I shall. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. Batman's gonna get what's coming. Scarecrow ain't beaten yet. Ooh. Batman. Trophy. Hey, much prefer this to driving around. And now it looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of driving around, unfortunately. Although hopefully, fingers cross or crossed, the uh, upgrade I bought uh, one of the previous videos to increase my rate of fire and the gun. Will, um, what's the word for it? Will, uh, 
make the thing, situation easier for me, and uh, even more importantly, quicker in terms of fighting those bloody drones. Alfred, I'm at the bridge. One moment, sir. I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drones, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Sergeant, Mercy Bridge is being lowered. He's coming. Bomber drones online and ready to engage. Tend to charge warhead. Designed to penetrate the toughest armor. I've got some prizes too back there. Rod, where did I come from there? If I wanted to play, I mean, it almost feels like I'm playing bloody pong.
ground. Oh. There you are. The a rattler. Alpha target spotted. Northern sector near Island. Shh. Drone's been hit. It's still in the fight. This ain't over. Oh, that's one of those bombs. You see, that's, you know, you know, it's not difficult because it's difficult. It's difficult because they put you, you know, it's like, you know, we're going to put you in a small, you know, barrel. And then we're just going to throw wave after wave of these guys at you. You get hit once and your missile hand goes completely to shite. I might as well get this out of the way. I should be connected shortly, sir. Expect minor resistance, Master Bruce. Yeah, minor me arse. I can't, it's just, That's you know. Dead. We've got him right where we. Oh dear.
quick way to get Batman back in. I was a bit suspicious about Arkham Asylum that maybe, uh, or Arkham after Arkham City, that uh, maybe uh, he who plays the Joker, aka Mark Hamill, had gotten tired of the role. But obviously he came back for this. Um, let's see. Actually, what am I doing? Level up. Batmobile upgrades, armor level 1, increase members armor by 25%. No. Speed, damn it. I've got that already. Need 4 for that. Screw it. 25% more health it is. And another Wayne point that could have gone on. Could have gone upgrading the bat himself. Right, I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly end this video here and be a bit shorter than some of the others. But this might take me a little while. I think I'm going to start refresh with this, continuing this on in another video. Um, again, this is the kind of anal retentive completionist in me. If I'd if I didn't have that element to my personality, I probably would just ignore these bombs and just continue with the main quest because this. Again, they've put in, they spent way, I've said this before, they seem to have spent way too much effort on this, on the uh, the Batmobile. Way, 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 way too much effort um, in terms of putting it in the game, integrating it into the design of the missions and the levels and all the, well, you don't really have levels in an open world game, but you know what I mean. And way too much time coming up with way new things to do with specifically with using the Batmobile. And it's just not that good, not that great. And it's, you know, really, you know, it's again, the Batmobile is just, you know, it's not, it's it's not, you know, Batman's about stealth and, you know, hand-to-hand -hand fighting and so on. And this is just ridiculous. Particularly, of course, they wanted, and the ridiculous part of it is the whole tank functionality because, I mean, let's be perfectly clear here. You know, the drones are literally just a case of, well, we have to come up with some vehicles that they can destroy with this Batmobile and tank mode, but Batman doesn't kill people, so we'll make them drones. 
So, you know, uh, it could be, uh, it could be better, a lot better, it could be worse, but anyway, I'll just end this video here, and, uh, this is Defoe21.